Hey you guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to give you my top 5 tips for a beautiful bedroom. I know I've said this before, but I cannot express how important it is to make your bedroom a priority. I know your guests don't see it, but you see it. It is the last thing you look at before you go to bed and the first thing you see when you wake up. It should be your sanctuary. It should be a beautiful space and it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. These quick five tips can really transform your room on a really small budget without spending a lot of time. Number one, if you're like me and you're not really great at decorating, going with a monochromatic color scheme with one accent color is a surefire way of not messing up and having like a really cohesive and beautiful color scheme. I like using, well in this bedroom, all blue. So light blue, dark blue, different shades of blue with a pop of green accent color. Because you guys have seen my bedroom a thousand times, I wanted to show you my mom's bedrooms. She decorates with the same monochromatic and accent color sort of theme trick in order to make her bedrooms feel really restful. So here, gray is the monochromatic color. She has light gray, different shades of gray, and then burgundy is her pop color. And here in another room, she's doing the same thing with just everything, you know, gray but bringing in the yellow for a quick accent. It's so easy to do and it really makes your space feel relaxing. Tip number two is being really clutter free, especially here in the bedroom. This can be tough, but I've decided no longer to keep, you know, laundry that needs to be folded and put away here in the master bedroom. I'm like a minimalist, at least in this room anyways. Years ago, the master bedroom was where I dumped everything before company came over because I could shut the door and know that no one would go in. But now I make it a priority. It is like, you know, my sanctuary, my private space. Well, I have to share it with my husband, but you know what I mean. Make your master bedroom clutter free and make it a priority. Tip number three is mood lighting. I'm a huge fan of candles at night in the bedroom. But if you're not a fan of candles, these Christmas lights, you know, those LED fairy lights work so well too. Or you can just use a dimmer switch on an existing uh, light fixture that you have in your bedroom. There is nothing, not only romantic, but more peaceful, relaxing, and no way to make your room more beautiful than a dimly lit room with some accent lighting. Tip number four is don't forget the focal point. This is so important in a bedroom and usually the focal point in the bedroom is going to be the bed. Creating a focal point in your bedroom is so easy. You can do it with an oversized headboard or something above your headboard or if you don't even have a headboard, you can create a focal point using an oversized piece of art over your bed or smaller pieces grouped together to really, you know, draw the eye to that wall. I love using symmetry, so have t two tables on either side with matching lamps. Last but not least is tip number five, and that is smell. I know what you're thinking. How does having a nice smelling bedroom make it more beautiful? But it actually does. At least it'll feel more relaxing and feel like a more beautiful space. Don't ever discount, you know, the smell of a space when trying to decorate or make it really relaxing. My favorite thing to do is add about 10 drops of lavender and 10 drops of jasmine to a spray bottle of warm water and just occasionally, you know, spray the bed, maybe spray the curtains, spray the dirty laundry basket that's in my closet. It really is such a relaxing and lovely smell. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'm going to put a link to my Facebook page below. Check it out. You might like it. Sometimes I put some random stuff about myself up there. And don't forget today to make your bedroom a priority for you.